Never really noticed how deep the water is here. So the client dropped the necklace right down here. Then we dive in and get it, I suppose. Even if you jumped in, I doubt the necklace is there anymore. Everlight isn't all that heavy as metal as far as metal goes, so yeah, I'm sure it's drifted downstream. Well, that would mean it's lying somewhere on the bottom of the ocean about now. Do you guys really intend to look for something in the water? There's no way. I'd be careful if I were you. The current's pretty crazy around here, thanks to the ocean's tides. If you fell in, you swept off in a jiffy. Tides? This isn't the sea, though. The water in this river is a mixture of ocean water and fresh water that runs down from the mountains. All the rivers around here are like that. Wow, really? I had no idea. Come to think of it, the body of the magistrate that they say was dumped into the river washed up over in Heliord. That just goes to show how far the current can carry things that fall in. Sounds like starting this search in Heliord might not be a bad idea. Thanks for your help, sir. Huh? For what? Yeah, thanks, sir. <laughs> you saved us, like, five hours of looking for something in the water, which probably wouldn't be possible. So go to Heliord, head to the lower section, talk to a girl. We have, to trade a, we have to trade a bird feather, which we should probably have. Because the bird feather is... It's preferably from a bird. Bird enemies. It's like a common item, I think. So we should have it. Dude, that waiter game was like... That was madness. Symphonia and Berseria have a better waiter game. Actually, I think Berseria had the waiter game. I don't remember Berseria's that much, but like, my goodness, that was madness. I don't think I've ever messed with it in Vesperia, and I see why. I can see why I never touched that minigame. Where's this girl? Does Heliord head to the lower section to talk to the girl? Oh, is it in the- it's in the elevator, right? Yeah, I, I forgot you can go down here. I'm gonna be honest though, all the waiter thing gets me is titles, and I kind of, um... Is this guy okay? Is using your head really a smart idea? But yeah, we're only going to get titles. It's not considered a side quest, so I don't feel bad missing out on it, if that is the case. Oh, her necklace. What is it? Hey, can you tell me how you got that thing you're wearing around your neck? Oh, this? I found it by the riverside. Oh, no. Aha, just as we thought. Is there any way you consider giving it to us? The original owner sent us to come looking for it. But I... I'd be a bit more accommodating if its money will reimburse you however much you want. Hey, old man, whose money are you talking about? Oh, well, don't throw a hissy. Well, I couldn't accept money for it. But you know, I guess I'd be willing to part with this if you gave me a small bird feather. Why would you want a small bird feather over a necklace? I mean, better for us, but why? Alright, well then. Hold it. I'll be taking that necklace, even if I have to use it for force. No, I mustn't use force. Perhaps I'll persuade her to give it to me. But I won't let you all have it. She's already told us that she'll exchange it for a small bird feather, buddy. Well, then if I get here with that small bird feather first, will you give it to me? I should have the small bird feather, hopefully. I don't care which one of you gets it. I'll give the necklace to the first person who brings a small bird feather to me. Alright, I'm off. Farewell. Dash. <laughs> He's gone. Just like that. What a busy little man. We shouldn't loiter around waiting for him to beat us to it. Let's go. Please have it. Oh, thank you. Here's the small bird feather you asked for. My, that was quick. Oh, you know, I've killed many birds throughout the journey. Oh, well, I had really taken a liking to it. But anyway, here you go. All right. Nice. Wait, wait, wait. I brought it too. Here you go. A small bird feather. <laughs> too late. It's already a little beaten up. But I promised I'd give the necklace to the person who came back with the item first. So I already gave it to them. What? So you're not going to give it to me? But well, I must have it. Unfortunately, we need this too. Sorry, man, but we can't give it to you. Damn. It looks like I'll have to use force. Yeah, get him, Rapide. 
No violence is, is, isn't the solution. I give up. Oh, but if only. I sort of feel bad for him. This is no time for pity, Carol. This is Rihanna's necklace, anyway. It isn't ours to give, even if we wanted it. Wanted to. Yeah, you're right. Alright, let's go back to Dongress. Okay. Yeah, let's go. So yeah, all we have to do, head back, report this necklace, then we head to Capitorum to meet with Kaufman, and then we're all good to go. And again, 80-man melee isn't done, but I'm fine with that. Well, we'll get 80-man done eventually. I just think I, I faced facts that were pretty low-leveled for it. Hit up Dongress, I think it's the inn that Rihanna's at. Up, up, boom. Dude, Dongress's track never gets old, and now also the way the city looks, the, the aesthetic of it never gets old. I love it. Sup, we got your necklace after some trouble. Here it is, darling. Your very own Everlight necklace. Alright, so I guess all the final parts, the final scenes of the guild quest are voiced for some reason. you ever find it it's laura bailey well you see it's definitely laura bailey oh wow what a miracle thank goodness now for your reward oh your love is reward enough settle down old man rihanna you where have you been you're that man from heliord hey you Rihanna, how do you know these people? Oh, so this guy knew Rihanna. They were looking for my necklace. What? Oh, so that's why you were... That's right. So who the hell are you? I'm an old friend of hers. An old friend, huh? Right. You know, you are really annoying. Could you just shut up for a minute, please? All right. I can take a hint. Where were you all this time? I've been looking for you. been out looking for your necklace. The necklace that you said was a memento of your father, but I couldn't find it. Don't worry. There's a reason that I wanted to find it myself. In the end, I had to get some help from these people, but... I wanted to be the one to give you this, as a symbol of our engagement. Huh? Engagement? You did that for me? I think we should be on our way. Oh? But what about our payment? Consider it a wedding present. Right, Carol? Carol's not here again. Huh? He was right here a moment ago. Maybe something came up again. Hey, old man, let's go. Huh? Oh, right. Okay. Are you done? Sorry, I remembered I had to do something. So did you get the payment? Nah, no payment this time. What? What are you talking about? How can you not take payment for a guild job? Let's just say this job was a wedding present. A wedding present, huh? You mean Professor Rihanna is... Professor? Uh, well, um... You did say that you knew her from a guild you used to be in. Actually, she was sort of my teacher in the guild. She was famous for being really strict. I know I got my share of beatings. That's horrible. Hmm, so that's why you didn't come with us to meet her. Well, no biggie. No, no biggie? Yes, biggie! You didn't get a payment! Honestly, I actually agree with Carol here. We should have got a payment. There is something besides payment that I'd like to settle. Huh? What do you mean, Judith? So far, we've delivered stuff and found stuff. Two totally different kinds of work. What is Brave Asperia for? What does this guild I belong to do? She's got a point. What are you doing all this for? Money? You like doing it? Rita, don't talk like you're not in the guild. Looking at it from the outside, I can't tell what you want to do. Uh, well, uh, um, I mean, I'm not a member or anything, so whatever. You are a member. Okay, let's just say this is a trial period while we're figuring that out. Huh? Yeah, okay. 
If we can't come up with an answer right now, we'll just think on it for a while. Right. Okay then. I hate how Rita's like, oh yeah, I'm I'm just tagging along for the ride, uh, researching the air credit. I'm not part of this guild. She should just face facts. It's part of her whole like not understanding whole everything outside of Blastia, but still. Alright, well, that is done. Now we just have to head to Capitorum to meet with Kaufman. And that should be the final side quest we do. Because then it's the waiter minigame, and I am not messing with that. And I don't think it's missable, so we can always come back to it, should I change my mind. Uh, Torum, Torum, Torum. Is there any others I missed? I don't think there is. We'll do this first anyway. And I'll just double check the list and see if I missed anything, but I doubt it. I've been pretty good with going down the list, so I don't think so, but there's a chance. Having a travel permit is fortune markets right. As it is our responsibility. Since you sealed off the roads, I guess you're okay with our cargo shipments not going to the capital. That's not what I'm saying. It's just like Notapolica. What gives the knights protectors of the people the right to oppress them? The Imperial Knights don't need your permission to do what needs to be done. I can see why I can see we're not going to reach an agreement like this. Not now if we would if you would please let me pass. Wait. Sadly, what that official said is right. Very low and you aren't you with Altosk? What a happy surprise to be remembered by such a lovely lady. Perhaps Altosk is planning on sticking its nose into the business of Fortune's Market. Nah, I just came to ask for your cooperation as a member of the Union. Our cooperation. Help us make the Union as strong as it used to be. Fortune's Market is one of the pillars of the Union, or aren't you? I'm sure you know how important the Union is for guilds. We'll all just get trampled on if we don't work together against them. This is from someone who's been parading all over the world with Yuri for the past how many weeks? Antosk has met already mobilized. That's why I'm out here gathering information. I hear you've been traveling as the Don's right-hand man and watching the Imperial Knights. Alright, let's do it. We'll save face for you and the Don and promote the rebuilding of the Union. I'm glad you're as decisive as they say. It's an honor to be recognized as such by someone so well-versed in negotiations with the um, eh, ooh, Empire. Please, you flatter me. I've just lived long enough to get a little clever about these things. I hope that I could do the same. Now, if you'll excuse me. Raven, I'm impressed at how well you dealt with an imposing lady like Miss Kaufman. Compared to the Don, she was nothing. Yeah, the Don was more impressive. Don't just agree with me. Where's the but Raven? You were awesome. Huh? But... Come on, let's go. Yeah, Raven... Raven's semi-awesome. Alright, cool. Um... That's done. I'm gonna double-check this list. See if I missed anything. The cooking thing. Oh, Capuanor. Yeah, that was with Nick. Can't do that though because of the monster book. Oh yeah, we're done. I think we're good to move on. And if I remember right, we are heading towards uh, Pharaoh's Krog, which is in the middle of the desert. I'm trying to think really quickly if there are any Gigantos to do. I don't think there are any really to fight, or at least that I want to fight right now. So I think we're good to move on. Thanks, Estelle. Yeah, this is good. I'm gonna add Raven in here actually. Do that for a bit. Oh, how dare you! I was looking at my phone. No challenge at all. Oh, by the way, I saw that Cody said another song was used in um, Empyrean, the Pokemon game. Again, that's wild. I, I'm gonna wrap up stream kind of soon. I wanna really, I'm gonna see that link that you sent me. Really neat. I saw that when I was reading dialogue and I forgot to bring it up. Hi there, Sophie Roll. 
No, die. There we go. Alright. Now we head to Pharaoh's Krog. Oh, you're not sure about it either way i you were pretty sure about the first song so i gotta i gotta see that link so this is where pharaoh is either way really wild really crazy really cool really awesome lots of things should be i wasn't able to see him when we came to the desert but i think this is where we can meet him i hope nothing bad will happen what if he suddenly attacks us yeah, we'll just fight back. Self-defense. I can't make any guarantees. I don't think we'll have a say in the matter. That just means we need to do our best so nothing bad happens. Carol, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. I should go. Pharaoh sure did pick a bleak place to live in, don't you think? They say this area used to be covered in lush greenery. Why did it turn into this rocky desert? Hmm, I don't know that much. Estelle, are you really going to meet him? Even though you could be killed? Yes. I've already made peace with this decision. Rita, you've been acting a little funny ever since hearing Judy's story on the ship. Do you have a problem with meeting Pharaoh? I just think it'll be hard on her to hear what he has to say. But it's too late to turn back now. We've come this far after all. Alright then. Well, he doesn't seem to be here. Maybe he's off somewhere taking a nap. Pharaoh, you're here, aren't you? Poison, you appear before me at last. So you are here. Is that how you greet all your guests, Pharaoh? By calling them names? For what reason have you come to me? Surely you are aware that I could end your existence with a mere thought. <laughs> you talk pretty big, don't you? Yuri is really just going against this Antilochia. Well, if you really want to fight, I'd hate to disappoint you. I can't believe Yuri actually thinks he could take down this thing. Yuri, no! Everyone, please wait! Yeah, Pharaoh could kill us. Estelle! Pharaoh, please hear what I have to say. Does death hold no fear for you, little one? For you gaze now into the mouth of death itself. I am afraid, but I'm even more afraid of dying without knowing who I really am. Bellius told me I needed to meet you to learn about my destiny. I have to know just what that destiny is. I understand that I am a threat to the Entelikea, but you said that I am a poison to this world. What is this power I have? Just who is the child of the full moon? If it is true that my existence cannot be tolerated, then it's okay if I have to die. But I at least deserve to know why it is I have to die. Please tell me. I beg of you. There was a time when this was a verdant land, sheltered by the blessing of an air crene. So there was an air crene here. But what happened? Why did it change? What you see are the results of too much air and its aftermath. As to why the air ran rampant, the answer lies with the poison brought by the child of the full moon. Huh? The power of the child of the full moon stimulates the air crane more than any Blastia. Huh? Blastia convert air into energy by way of a formula. So if Estelle can use her healing arts without the aid of any Blastia, she must possess a formula in her very being that lets her convert air into energy. Judith was searching for Blastia that used a particular kind of formula. So, this special formula Estelle has must also consume massive amounts of air. 
which causes the air crene to become more active and pump out more air than they should. I had hoped my hypothesis would have been wrong. Then... It is as she has said. With each use of her power, the child of the full moon uses far more air than the Blastia. In so doing, the imbalance of air in this world is furthered. For the planet, such an existence can only be called a poison. So you just wipe it out then? Little quick to judge, aren't you, Pharaoh? This problem concerns the entire planet, and she is its cause. To do nothing would be unparalleled folly. If the problem's with Estelle, then it's for us to solve. That's right. We can't let anyone else handle it. The gravity of this situation is beyond your grasp. You don't honestly think that everything's gonna be all sunshine and rainbows if Estelle dies, do you? It would at least eliminate one problem. Pharaoh, at Heliord I stopped myself. And again at Dawngrest I stopped you. What I thought was a Blastia turned out to be a human. Before I realized it, I had lost my way. I never thought this child could be as great a danger as you had said. And due to your confusion, I granted you the time necessary to see things as they are. As a result, my sister Belius is now lost to me. Enough. This power will bring only ruin. Hmm, not sure I understand all this. But if her power's the problem, why can't she just not use it? There can be no guarantee she will not try to use the power. That's true. She does have trouble turning a blind eye to things happening around her. I mean, yeah. Like, you're not wrong. Someday she will surely use her power to help someone. However, as long as she keeps that spirit of compassion, she cannot only be seen as harmful. She'll be fine. She just needs a little help. Like, we, we just have to, like tell her when to use her power and as long as she could like resist a little bit she is not like a blastia i know that you can feel the difference compassion alone will not save this world listen pharaoh i get that you've thought all this through with everybody's best interest in mind but why doesn't that world have a place for estelle it is sometimes necessary to remove a part to save the whole i don't buy that for a second what makes you so high and mighty that you're the one to decide who gets cut and who doesn't? We have endured the anxiety of existence for far greater a span than you can conceive. Such words mean nothing from those who call this world home for but a fleeting moment. Pharaoh, please listen. The important thing is finding a way to stop the excessive air, correct? We still have time left to search for such a thing. Judith. And if... If the effects of Estelle's power reach their absolute limit, I will kill her as promised. Oh! That's that. Don't promise that. that that's bold. You should have no complaint with this. Hey, Judith, are you serious? I'm sure brave Vesperia will come up with something before that happens, right? What? I, um, yeah, yeah, of course we will. Kind of putting a lot of pressure on us as a guild, aren't you? Score one for Judith, so that settles it. If we humans are to blame for Estelle's problem and bringing on the apocalypse, then it's up to us to make things right. If we give it all we've got and still blow it, then you can slow roast us on a grill for all I care. I like the way Yuri says that. You have changed. If you were still as before. Have I? That is nice to hear. Very well. Be ever mindful though that time is fleeting. Right, goodbye, Pharaoh. Wait! If the formulas are causing the excessive air, then there must have been times when this happened in the past. I mean, the Blastia were a product of an ancient civilization. There exist those who have inherited the sins of the past. If any yet can speak of what occurred in the days of old, it is they. He's gone! Bye-bye! Um, I... Thanks for everything, Yuri. Judith. You too. No problem. But hey. What? It's okay if I have to die? What the hell was that? I'm sorry. 
I don't want to hear that again. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no. Estelle's been scolded. Man, I was really worried there for a while. We were pretty lucky that bruiser was in a mood for conversation. Poor Raven's heart can't handle that sort of stuff anymore. You're pretty gutless for an old man. Jeez, Patty, you've really got nerves of steel. If he really wanted to kill Estelle, he'd have attacked us immediately. And that's what I can't figure out. I imagine Pharaoh was conflicted as well. He hid himself from us in the desert to see just what we were made of. Huh. Maybe he wasn't as bad as we thought after all. You might be right. I get the feeling he'd do whatever's necessary when push comes to shove. That sounds like you. Maybe. But what are we gonna do, Yuri? You heard what he said. We're going to fix the problems the air's causing. And that's all. That's easier said than done. We're pretty much at square one, you know. Mm-hmm. And no one wants to be at square one. Well, obviously, yeah. There's no doubt that the formulas are related somehow to the air getting used up. We need to find out about the ancient Blastia, and if they went berserk or not. If we had that kind of information, it might give us a clue. Ask those who have inherited the sins of the past about the days of old. Or at least that's what Pharaoh said. The Critia were the ones to invent the Blastia. In other words, we need to ask a Critian who is still familiar with the old stories. Yeah, the Critia are often credited as the inventors of the Blastia. There isn't much left of the Critian city of Timza, though. It'd be a lot easier if there were more cities. The hidden city of Miorzo. It is far older than Temza, and the birthplace of the Kritya. The first Blastia also originated there. Really? Well, what do you know? You wouldn't happen to know where this Miorzo might be, would you, darling? Hmm. I've heard that name somewhere. There was a Kritian in Ospio. I'm sure they mentioned something about it. Do you think that person might still be there? Well, there's no harm in checking it out. Judith, are you coming with us? I should. We still have the issue of the guild to straighten out. So, to Ospio then. Right, this is actually a great place to wrap up. We are not going to be going to Ospio. I think I'm just going to... We're going to watch the skit first. Wow! The hourglass is really amazing! The enemies just stop moving! Yeah, certainly makes it easier to win battles. You can get ready for what's next, attack enemies, change battle formation. And if we're having trouble running away from enemies, this makes it a cinch. Oh, and it even lets us keep enemies from running away. It's seriously awesome. Hourglass. <laughs> Personally, I find this way easier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Rita is such a bitch, but I love it. I think we're gonna wrap up here. This is a really great place to wrap up. Because I'm sure this is like good. We met with Pharaoh and now we just have our next destination, which is Miorzo. And we can just get straight. We did a lot of side quests today, so we can just get straight into story stuff next time. That will be it. So yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna do monster book off screen. I'll see if I can get it to 50%, but I doubt it, but. Yeah, those of you watching, I hope you all enjoyed. It was a really good one today. I enjoyed um, the Coliseum. I enjoyed the side quest we did. Really good times. I think Vesperia has like one of the best side quests, like just in general. So I really did enjoy it. But next time will be story stuff. We'll make up for though. We'll make up for not doing much story stuff this stream, and we'll do a lot next time. But yeah, you know, and it will be a good time. I don't know when I'm going to play this. It'll be a lot more consistent, though. It's not going to be as long as it was to this stream, but, you know. Oh, the game has Digimon music, too. Nice. Sick. But, yeah. That's going to be it. Uh, today's Friday. So, I'll be back on Monday. I don't know. I might do Vesperia again on Monday. Or I might do Strikers. I'm not really sure, because... I can go either or. We'll do Vesperia or Strikers on Monday. Whatever I don't do on Monday, we'll do on Tuesday. And I think Heroes 2 is going to be on Wednesday because Wednesday is Metal King Slime Day. So we can get lots of Metal King Slimes on that day and get grinding and get back to that game. So yeah, it's going to be it. But thank you all for coming. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you all next time.